getting some odds and ends up again. Going to install the handlebars today with the Rox risers. Very cool risers, love them. And I've messed around with the motor again, ordered some new fittings. It's pretty tricky, man, when you're trying to fit something in that's not meant for the sled. Anyway, let's get that steering column done. We can put in this cool console cover. Isn't that nice? Got to keep moving, keep moving forward. You guys are always asking, where's the IQR? Things taking so long. It's custom build, man. Things take time. Brace right here it needs to go in. Make sure these go in where they're supposed to go. Beautiful. that hump. Grab that drill thumb. Please. Take a look. Not too bad for eyeballing. That I can live with. There we go. Something wasn't clicking. I do have my choke lever, but I'm not going to install that because I'm going to do that directly from the carbs. Install it on the carbs first. I like this thing because of the accessibility of everything. You can pull the motor out without really having to rip the whole sled apart. You can pull the belly pan or the sides off it very easily. It's pretty cool. Which makes sense, right? Race slide. You want to just be able to pull it off the track and swap a motor if you need to. Do whatever you want. That looks good. Put that down there. Oh, yes. That's where my handle goes. I'll put this on here right now. And that way I'm not going to lose it. Now we get to put these cool rocks risers on. I love these. These are my favorite. I just mount those up so there's a little bit of pressure on them, but not too much. It's going to allow me to clock them the way I want. Right 
on. Now these are set up in such a way that you can just pop these little inserts out. If you've got a thicker bar, you can use those. Come check this out, Tommy. come with them. That way we can use the narrower bar. Now this is all going to be put in here pretty loosely to start just because I can't really set these bars up until I actually sort of sit on the sled, figure out where everything needs to go. Make it just right. Line those up in the middle. Beautiful. If, th if you think these little handles are going to interfere with something, you can just, here, I'll show you. You just sort of pull them out and you can move them without adjusting the bolt. So then you just push it in. Now you can adjust the bolt. If you don't want them st sticking out sideways or whatever, you can just sort of clock them, put them both down. Go. Now, check this out. This is the mountain bar. So if you're trailering and you want to put them down, fit underneath your cover, you can do that for whatever reason. You don't want that in the way. And you just pop it up when you want to use it. It's nice. I've got this Polaris throttle block and it actually just works out well. It slips over top of the factory handlebar warmers. Sweet, makes my life a lot easier. Uh, I can't hook the throttle cable up because I don't have my carbs in. That's coming. I'm gonna put this back. Leave that right like that. I'm not gonna tighten these up too much until I know where these bars have to go. So far so good. Gotta love the looks of that. Put this. Hmm, I go there. No, I can't do that because my throttle cable. I'm gonna do it right here. I think that's a good spot to put it. It's gonna be a good place to have it. You know, I'm not gonna hit it by accident like the one on the rev. Drives me crazy. It used to drive me crazy, but I fixed it. Ooh, that looks good. All right. It's time to get that snow flap on. A lot of guys ask me about these snow flaps. You know, do you need one when you're riding in the powder? Not really. You don't need one when you're riding in the powder, but to get to and from the powder, highly recommended. I did some testing with uh, my temperature gauge and the sled runs about 15 degrees cooler with this snow flap on. That's 15 degrees, 15 to 20 degrees cooler. That's pretty substantial. So if you run into some icy conditions, you know, you're gonna want a snow flap on and your ice scratchers. Put this in here. Should have my goggles on. Somebody's gonna say, why are you wearing your goggles? The snow flap is actually off a of pro. They look really nice. Check that out. Sweet looking. Right on. This is going to be incredible, this sled. I can't believe how close up to the bars you can get on it. <laughs> That's nice. So I'm going to tighten up these bars now that I'm, now that I'm on them. 
Good grip on the brake. Throttle feels good right there. Nice. Tighten up these rocks risers. You gotta make sure they're good and tight. They will move on you, just like any other set of handlebars. Because, uh, you know, when they're up high like this, there's a lot of potential for them to move with your body weight pounding on them and yanking on the bars to get some altitude like we like to do to pop that front end up right. Usually takes me about one adjustment after a ride. I go out for a quick ride and I'm like, oh, need to adjust that. Doesn't take long. It's been a couple minutes. Readjust, good to go. Tighten these up. Gonna leave that like that for now. So let's move into the aligning of the steering. Everybody see that? Everybody see the movement on that? <laughs> oh my god, that is so nice. Okay. Now to set your alignment, you want to have your ski straight. Now I'm just sort of leaning back. That is a straight set of handlebars right there. Now I'm looking. Now there's a way they do it. They run a straight edge off the side of the track. I kind of eyeball this. I know, I'm always eyeballing. But generally speaking, it works. So come on over here, Tommy, look at this. This is how I usually set it up. Now I've got this tie rod, or I've got the steering rod loose, and you can just see when I make this adjustment, it toes it in or moves it out. All I'm doing is just screwing this. Right? So, got that set up. I want to redo it every time. Still towed out a little. Do that again. Okay. Tow it in a little much. Oh. So I've eyeballed it, all right, and I'm pretty darn close. In, in fact, I'm too darn close. I'm within about a millimeter on each one. I think the, mil the back is out. It's a little wide by a millimeter. Now, according to Polaris's setup for this front end, you want to have the front end towed out a little bit by about an eighth to a quarter of an inch, and I can understand why. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is, 
You can see where I'm measuring these here, Tom. I'm just measuring off the CNA Pro skis right here. Let me check over here. And right now I'm measuring 102 millimeters. So I want it to tow out slightly. Well, about an eighth of an inch. So if we're looking at this right here, that's 39 and okay, so it's a 39 to the inside, 39 inches. Wrong way. I'm gonna do it an eighth. So what I'll do is I'll move this one out a sixteenth. This one out a sixteenth as well. And that's going to give me my proper toe out. Most of the times on your older sleds, there's a lot of steering slop in here. You, what you'll do is you'll put a bungee on the front of the skis. You'll pull the skis in tight. And that'll help you set things up. But this. This is tight. Everything sort of comes back to its original resting position. You want to move the front of the sled up and down a few times. Then you get everything set up. Now for me, all I need to do now, lock up all the lock nuts on there. I'm going to take another look at it just to make sure. And because I like sitting on my sled, because it's so darn cool. Okay, that's good. Lock up those nuts onto something else. Make sure you actually brace this rod or when you're tightening it. One more. There. Oh, that's nice. It's coming along. There's a lot to do, but things are happening very quickly. I'm waiting for some clamps to come in, parts and pieces. Remember, I didn't strip this down from a solid sled. I'm putting it together from the ground up. Love these rocks accessories, these rocks adjustable risers, and this rocks mountain grab bar. Check them out, rock speed effects online. Make sure when you do buy them, tell them Louis from Power Mod sent you. I gotta thank you guys for coming by. Make sure you come by again. Lots more cool stuff coming up for the old IQR 800 mountain mod. Gotta do the electrical system, hook the brake up, do a bunch of other stuff. Stay tuned. Get impossible to find